Jane, lovely to meet you. You too. When I was watching this film, all I kept thinking was, where does she get these ideas from? <laughs> Just when I thought it couldn't get any wilder, it did. There's the tracker scene that I'm not going to ruin for anybody. <laughs> okay. But where does the inspiration come from? Gosh, I don't know. I mean, I think both Matthew and I have quite an absurdist sense of humour. And, and the more silly and unexpected something is, the funnier we find it. And I think sometimes we kind of have fun just trying to sort of surprise each other by sort of just going, what about such and such? And just the more outlandish and unexpected it is, the more fun that is. And so we tend to, I think when we're in that mode, these ideas just sort of come out of nowhere. Well, I was gonna ask you, in the script writing process, is it yeah. something that you do on your own? and hand over to Matthew, or is it really collaborative where you talk about a scene and then you go and write it? Uh, a bit of both. I mean, I always write on my own. Matthew and I have never like been the kind of sitting in the same room writing kind of people, but we have, we, we definitely, we get together for talks and we throw ideas around, And but more often we'll just phone each other and go like, what about if such and such? Um, and then, and yeah, so I write on my own and send to Matthew, but we'll we'll ring each other up and go, oh, I've just thought about, what about it? So we're on the phone a lot. Who thought about, which I thought was pure <laughs> genius, Elton John? Well, weirdly, we had actually written a lot of that stuff for the first movie. Really? Because there was sort of a subplot hinted at in the first movie about Valentine, the bad guy, uh, as well as creating the apocalypse, was also kidnapping all the people he wanted to survive the apocalypse to keep them safe. And it had been, actually, that was very much one of those things where we had just kept trying to make each other laugh by going, oh, what about if he's got Elton John and he's really, Elton's really angry about it and he's like, and we just kept thinking of sillier and sillier interactions that just really made us laugh. And then obviously when we sent it to Elton John, I'm like, who are these people? What is this film? No, thank you. Wait, so think, his first reaction was no? Uh, yeah, I don't know if that was his reaction, but <laughs> it, it, one way or another, he, he um, was not available and did not do it. And then we wound up cutting that whole storyline. But I think it, it had so appealed to us and we were so fond of, us, fond of it. And then we suddenly realized, we could actually, that could work in a different way in this movie. And and we were so grateful for the fact that presumably Elton had seen the first one by then and kind of got <laughs> our humour and got what we were trying to do. And we're just eternally grateful that he was up for it. What's it like for you to see your words realised onto the big screen? Is it, do you watch it going, wow, this is exactly how I imagined it? <laughs> um, it, it varies, yeah. I mean, it's, it, it's never not exciting. It's yeah. always exciting. But um, you know what? I love it when an actor brings something new to it that I didn't necessarily expect and they've actually added to it. And I love that kind of, that feeling of teamwork and collaboration. But other times it's like, oh, this is exactly how I heard it in my head. That's beautiful. <laughs> you know, so both things are nice. I know you're not gonna be able to say much, oh but I have to ask. <laughs> you're attached to the Game of Thrones spin-off. Right. What is, like, what can you say about it? I'm so sorry, very little, apart from the fact <laughs> but that- But you are I'm, attached. I am attached, I'm still in development stage. Um, uh, it might not happen because they're developing a few different ideas, which makes total sense because obviously they're, you know, the development process is a long one. And I think they're keen to have a show to, you know, go out as soon as, uh, you know, as soon as it's ready yeah. without wanting to have years and years and years pass. So um, mine might not happen, but I'm having a great time. It was very exciting to get to meet and work with uh, George R. R. Martin, who's a hero wow. of mine. Yeah. Um, what an incredible creative mind. And so, yeah, whatever happens with it, I'm thrilled to have had the opportunity to work with someone I admire so much. Now, no, you shouldn't believe the internet, <laughs> um, but on your page on IMDb, it says Kingsman 3 announced. Oh God. <laughs> has it been announced? I don't What's think it going has. on? I don't think it's been officially announced. I mean, it's definitely- Unofficially? I don't, you know what? I honestly don't know the answer, but I it, I would not be at all surprised if we, I mean, we've been, ideas have been thrown around. We've been scribbling things down. We've been talking about it. I can't see a reason that we wouldn't do one, but it's definitely not an official announcement because it isn't a thing, I okay. think. But yeah, I would not be at all surprised if it happens. Well, we'd all be very happy because it's nuts, thanks. but in a good way. It's good to see nuts <laughs> like that up on the cinema. So thank you for that. Oh, that's very nice. That's the best compliment. Thank you. <laughs>